What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Southern Sorcery. Daniel here. We're going to crack open this really cool box. Collector boosters from the Wilds of Eldraine. Lots of really good hits in here. Super cool card, super cool flavor. We're just going to go through them together and see what we find. Happy to have you guys with me today. There are 12 collector packs per box. Man, the art is super cool. Gingerbread, cupcakes, pumpkins, gelatin, all kinds of crazy stuff in here. So we're just gonna go one at a time. I think they go backwards. So the, the hits are right up front and the commas and uncommas start in the back. So we'll go backwards. Sweet Tooth Witch, Human Warlock. But she look, I mean, but, but she's got treats. What if he has candy? Now I'm getting in, I love candy. No, you don't get in. Freaking Hansel and Gretel. Baluna's Gatekeeper, Curse of the Were Fox, Stockpiling Celebrant, Soul Guide Lantern. That's really cool art for that card. Monstrous Rage, Chancellor of Tales. Very cool, full art, foil, basic. Curiosity in the uh, treatment, special treatment there. Garrick's Uprising, it's a cool card. Very cool art for him. The Iron Crag, legendary artifact. Rankle's Prank, Restless Cottage. These are the lands from this cycle. They come in tapped, which is unfortunate, but you can pay and make them all um, creatures. And then as creatures, they each have certain abilities. So this one is you pay two generic, one black, one green, and it becomes a 4-4 four, four black and green horror creature until the end of turn. It's still a land. Whenever a Restless Cottage attacks, create a food token and exile up to one target card from a graveyard. So if you've got something in uh, in somebody's graveyard you don't want them to recur, you can just, you know, smash it make a food token at the same time. Leyline of Abundance. That's a good card. It's uh, one of the handful of cards uh, that say, if Ley Line of Abundance is in your opening hand, you may begin the game with it on the battlefield. And then whenever you tap a creature for mana, add an additional green. And then you can pay six generic and two green to add a plus one, plus one counter to each of your creatures. So it would be good in a plus one, plus one deck. Very cool. Likeness Looter. It is a fairy shapeshifter with flying. You can tap it to draw a card and discard a card. We're gonna put our rares in a pile together and then like our special arts over here. Then we'll move on to the next pack. All right, let's keep trucking. Food token and a food fight. Karmic Justice, Ariette of the Charmed Apple, first mythic for today. Another copy of Iron Crag, Gumdrop Poisoner, Human Warlock. God, that is so pretty. Hatching Plans, Intangible Virtue, and then another full art forest. Very cool. Neva, Stalked by Nightmares, Cut In, Frantic Firebolt, Sky Beast Tracker, Helen's Light Blades. There are a lot of really good hits in this, so I'm hoping to pull a parallel lives for the doubling season with the swans on it. That one's really cool. Ooh, here we go. Here's a good hit. Elusive Otter. I know people were really excited to play this card. Waste not. When an opponent discards a creature card, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. Whenever an opponent discards a land, add two black mana. So there's some ramp. Whenever an opponent discards a non-creature, non-land card, draw a card. That's pretty good. Very nice. Cruel Somnophage. Cruel Somnophage's power and toughness are equal to the number of creature cards in all graveyards. So I think it's pretty big. Songbird's Blessing, full art. Twinning Twins. <laughs> Fairies, Flying, Vigilance, and Ward 1. It's 4-4. Four, four. And it has its little enchantment uh, instant stapled onto it there. Dark Tutelage, very cool art. Very cool. And Compulsion. Oh, that swamp is sick. Look at the roots of these trees. Very cool. Belligerent of the Ball. Dutiful Griffin. Stone Splitter Bolt. Joe and Stopgap. Merfolk Coral Smith. Candy Trail. Look at that. That's just so cool. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. All that candy. That would definitely lure someone. And Living Lectern. Have you guys been hitting anything crazy with this set? Uh, let me know in your comments what awesome stuff you've gotten or what awesome stuff you want to get. Let's start from the back again. That way there's a little build up. Harried Spear Guard into the Fey Court. Spider food. We're not dead after all. Not dead. Yeah. He says he's not dead. Yes, he is. I'm not. <laughs> Indy, I'm so pleased you're not dead. Embereth Veteran, Picnic Ruiner. Oh, look at that guy. He is just stoked to be ruining your picnic. 
Two-headed hunter, full art foil planes, dragon mantle, curiosity, rankles prank, sorcery for four, you can choose one or more, each player discards two cards, each player loses four life, or each player sacrifices two creatures. Yuck, that's just mean. I guess that's why it's a prank. You don't have a pranking sweet spot. Lich Knight's Conquest. Sack any number of artifacts, enchantments, or tokens. Return that many creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. So that's pretty cool. Some recursion there. Very cool artwork. Decadent Dragon. Oh, that's just a highfalutin dragon. Look at his face straight up in the air. Like some kind of some kind of snobby dragon. Flying and trample whenever Decadent Dragon attacks. Make a treasure token. So that's good. Good dragon. Copy enchantment. I wonder what that thing does. Spoiler alert, it copies an enchantment and goblin bombardment nice on to pack number four i keep looking over here because that's where my camera initially was and then i moved it and now my microphone really should be on the other side too but whatever we're not gonna redo it all oh also huge shout out to my local game store cardboard shuffle mark who runs the place owns the place over there he's fantastic that's actually him right there he's a big ut fan as you can tell yeah they just got these Playmats made, so I had to grab one of those. Gotta support your LGS. They just launched their own line of sleeves also. If you want good sleeves, head on over to Cardboard Shuffle in Kingsport, Tennessee. How's that for a plug? They didn't even ask me to do that. Red Tooth Genealogist. That's an elf. Stingblade Assassin. Kindled Heroist. Stormkeld Prowler. Twisted Sewer Witch. That's one twisted sister. <laughs> Edge wall in, add one mana of the chosen color and you can pay three to sack it and return a target card that has an adventure from your graveyard. So an adventure card is one of the ones that has the little extra thing stapled here to it so you can play it for its adventure cost instead of its regular cost. And some of them you can play both. Glass casket. I'm in a glass case of emotion. God, I mean, the art's just so cool in this enchanted set. That's the whole theme though, is fairy tales. Wow. Drain. Stab wound. Enchanted creature gets minus two, minus two. And at the beginning of upkeep, the enchanted creature's controller pays two life. If the minus two, minus two doesn't just kill it outright. Compulsion again. All right. Mosswood Dread Knight. That's a very cool card. People are excited about this one. I know JP is. Gil Wayne, casting director. I guess they're shooting a movie here. He is a mythic human bard when he or another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control choose one create a royal role and attach it to that creature a sorcerer role attach it to that creature or a monster role token and attach it to that creature so he just gives all of your creatures roles when they enter the battlefield which roles are a new mechanic in, in this set they are essentially just enchantments but you can only have one of them uh one roll t uh, enchantment or token uh, per each creature and if you put a new one on then you have to uh, sack the previous one. Restless Vine Stalk. Here is the Simic blue-green land and it becomes a 5-5 green and blue plant creature with trample. That's pretty good. And then when it attacks, up to one other target creature has base power and toughness 3-3 till end of turn. So one of your own creatures or one of your opponent's creatures. So yeah, that's pretty good. Dawn of Hope. Whenever you gain life, you may pay two. And if you do, you can draw a card. Or you can pay four to make a 1-1 soldier creature token with lifelink. So that's pretty good. You can put that in a tokens deck pretty easily. Or a life gain deck. Here's a very cool Baluna Grand Squall. Mythic giant noble permanent spells you cast have an adventure cost one less to cast so the adventure costs one less so nothing crazy just yet outside of some of these new cards which we won't really know the value of those until they've been around for a little bit all right flip it over and do that from the back break the spell destroy a target enchantment grand ball guest human. Beanstalk, worm. It's a plant worm. 5-4 with reach and it's got an adventure. We play an additional land this turn. Sugar Rush. Well, that is a treat I do not want to eat. The Princess Takes Flight. <coughs> an enchantment saga. Fairy Dream Thief. Threadbind Click. Full Art Island. Very cool. Impact Tremors. That's pretty good. It's another stab wound. Just a flesh wound. Will. Scion of Peace. So this is the first time we've seen him split off from his counterpart. A lot of people are excited to see these cards. He's a three drop, he's a two four with vigilance and you can tap him to give you spells 
cast this turn that are white and or blue cost X less to cast where X is the amount of life you gained this turn. So that's pretty good. Elvira of the Wild Court. When she enters the battlefield, create a virtuous roll token attached to a, another target creature you control. Whenever an enchanted creature you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. That's pretty good. Very cool art and rabbit. Pollen Shield Hair. Creature tokens you control get plus one, plus one. And then if you pay one green, you can do the enchant or the adventure here. Target creature you control gains vigilance and gets plus X, plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of creatures you control. So that's a pretty good adventure. Aggravated Assault. You pay four, three generic, and two red to untap all creatures you control. And if it's in a main phase, there's an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase. So extra combat. As many times as you can pay five before somebody removes that. Force Fruition. When an opponent casts a spell, that player draws seven cards. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That seems crazy. Like, what? Okay. On to pack number six. Halfway through, haven't seen much spice just yet. So hopefully, let's get some more going. Bespoke Battle Garb, Skewer Slinger, Candy Grapple. That looks painful. That freaking candy apple just bit the crap out of me. Crystal Grotto, Greta, Sweet Tooth Scourge. I think there are several people that play Popper that are excited for this commander. Popper is a variant of commander that you can only play common and uncommon cards. So no rares or mythics. The Witch's Vanity, Tattered Ratter, and Peasant. Whenever a rat you control becomes blocked, it gets plus two, plus zero. Full Art Planes, onto the pretty cards, Dark Tutelage. Spreading Seas, Red Cap Gutter Dweller. It's a goblin warrior with menace. We've got a lot of rats in this set too. But when Red Cap Gutter Dweller enters the battlefield, create two one one black rat creature tokens with this creature can't block. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, put a plus one plus one counter on Red Cap Gutter Dweller and exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. So makes you some tokens and gives you some card draw. That's pretty good. Spellbook Vendor. I think people are excited for that. Vigilance. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may pay one. When you do, create a sorcerer roll token attached to a target creature you control. Virtue of Loyalty. Mythic Enchantment. At the beginning of your end step, put a 1-1 counter on each creature you control. Untap those creatures. So yeah, that's pretty freaking good. That'll be going into my plus one, plus one humans deck for sure. Leyline of Lightning. An enchantment. If Ley Line of Lightning is in your opening hand, you may begin the game with it on the battlefield. So they've got a few of these cards, all the Ley Lines. Whenever you cast a spell, you can pay one. If you do, Ley Line of Lightning deals one damage to target player or planeswalker. So yeah, you can just start pinging people for one. Lord Skitter's Blessing. When Lord Skitter's Blessing enters the battlefield, create a wicked roll token attached to a target creature you control. At the beginning of your draw step, if you control an enchanted creature, you lose one life and you draw an additional card. So like a Phyrexian Arena that also makes a Wicked Roll token and Lord Skitter is a rat. Okay, on the back half. Got a lot of these food tokens for sure. Merry Bards, Protective Parents, Red Cap Thief, Evolving Wilds, Better Chill. Whoa, better chill, bro. Collector's Vault, Abira, Dreaming Duelist, a Fairy Warrior with Flash, and flying. Whenever another fairy enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's nasty. I bet that's out of that pre-con. The full art islands. Season of growth. When a creature enters the battlefield under your control, scry one. Whenever you cast a spell that targets a creature you control, like an enchantment, draw a card. Pretty good. And that's in that ground seal. When ground seal enters the battlefield, draw a card. Cards in graveyards can't be targets of spells or abilities. So that shuts down the graveyard deck. Tale for the ages. Enchanted creatures you control get plus two, plus two. So it's an enchantment for all of your enchanted stuff. In case you can't tell, there's a theme. It's enchantments. Uh, Red Cap Gutter Dweller again, just in the full art. Devouring Sugar Maul. Oh my God. It's like a giant cupcake. It's getting ready to eat that guy. He just is screwed. Look at those teeth. It's like a giant hamster tooth. Blind Obedience. You can extort. So this is a new card. If you pay one white or one black, each opponent loses one life and you gain that much life. Artifacts and creatures your opponents control enter the battlefield tapped. So that's a little bit of some stacks going there. Greater Aromancy. This is a good, good card. Other enchantments you control have shroud. Enchanted creatures you control have shroud this protects all of your enchantments and all of your enchanted creatures this is a very good card it hasn't been reprinted in something like 15 years that one is probably a little on the more valuable side good card that's a good hit nice 
warehouse tabby little cat he's got him a dead rat there whenever an enchantment you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield make a 1-1 rat token with this creature can't block you can pay to give it death touch leaping ambush toadstool admirer it's a oof oof spell stutter counter targets unless its controller pays two plus an additional one for each fairy you control it's a pretty cool counter spell gadwick's first duel taken by nightmares oh god that'd be so scary look at those they're like freaking Dementors from Harry Potter. Frolicking Familiar. Another otter. Very cool. We've got some otters in this set, which is fun. Full Art Swamp. Vampiric Rites. Sack a creature. You gain one life and draw a card. Intangible Virtue. That's that same one. Tokens. Get plus one, plus one, and have vigilance. Bramble Familiar. <laughs> An elemental raccoon. You just barely see his little face in these vines. Pretty cool. Were Fox Bodyguard. It's an elf fox knight. When it enters the battlefield, exile up to one other target non fox creature, which there are not many, until Were Fox Bodyguard leaves the battlefield. So you should have your choice. Not many foxes. Scalding Viper. An elemental snake with an adventure. Return target non land permanent to its owner's hand. And if you cast it as a creature, whenever an opponent casts a spell with mana value three or less scalding viper deals one damage to that player typical of red to ping sneak attack God, very sneaky look at that giant guy holding up those holding up those little pieces of bushes like he's just gonna sneak up on these knights and they don't even freaking notice just as bad as the knights from my python Indigenous Prodigy has Skulk. Ingenious Prodigy enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it, so however much you pay into it. And then at the beginning of your upkeep, if it has one or more plus one plus one counters, you may remove one, and if you do, then draw a card. So a little bit of card draw there. Minecart Daredevil. To Unveil Guide. Feed the Cauldron. Destroy a target creature and make food. Rat out. Um, this guy's just slinging rats at people. How rude. How rude. Up to one target creature gets minus one, minus one till the end of turn. You make a one, one rat creature token with this creature can't block. A lot of those rats that can't block. Picklock Prankster, fairy with the adventure there. Knight of Doves, an enchantment and you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield. Make a one, one white bird creature token with flying. Ashiok's Reaper, draw a card when somebody kills one of your enchantment. Forest, these lands are very cool. Grasp of Fate, that's just a big heart, big human heart. <laughs> Dragon Mantle. You can enchant a creature. When Dragon Mantle enters the battlefield, draw a card. And the enchanted creature has pay one red. This creature gets plus one, plus zero until the end of turn. So that's pretty good because you could just pump it up really big if you wanted to once uh, blockers are declared. Spiteful Hex Mage. Farsight Ritual. Kellen the Fey Blooded. It's a mythic fairy. Double strike. Other creatures you control get plus one for each aura and equipment attached to Kellen the Fey Blooded. Shared Animosity. It's a pretty good card. Scalding Viper. Elemental Snake and Food Token. All right, just a couple of packs left. Hopefully we're saving the best for last. Food Token, Restless Vine Stall. Another one of those lands. Ley Line of the Void. That's another Ley Line. Ooh, that is cool. Restless Spire enters the battlefield tap. It becomes a 2-1 elemental creature with, as long as it's your turn, this creature has first strike. When it attacks, scry one. I mean, that art is really cool though. Likeness Looter. There we go. Beseech the Mirror. This is definitely one of the best cards in the set. Uh, if you watched our short about what the top five cards are, this took number one. It is a sorcery for one generic and three black, and if you pay its bargain cost, sack an enchantment or a token or an artifact when you cast this spell. Then you can search your library for a card, exile it face down, and then shuffle. If this spell was bargained, you may cast the exiled card without paying its mana cost if that spell's mana value is four or less. Otherwise, put the exiled card into your hand. So it's an expensive tutor if you don't pay the bargain. Not great. But if you pay the bargain cost, you get to put whatever you tutor for straight onto the battlefield now for free. So you can go get anything mana value four or less. And believe you me, there are a ton of great bombs for four or less. All kinds of great stuff. This is a fantastic card. Super excited to hit that. So we were saving the best for next to last. We got one more pack. Knightly Valor, Hatching Plans, Full Art Island. We're going to go through these because the art's really cool cool twisted fealty dream spoilers god look at those girls just messing with that crazy man's head get out of my head like he needs it look at his head he's already got some kind of weird brain and then these guys these fairies are just messing with him tenacious tome seeker 
Non Crescendo, Wicked Visitor. That guy looks like he's up to no good. Armory Mice, and a Diminisher Witch. Okay, last pack. Really wanted a Parallel Lives. That's all right. I'll just have to buy one. Thanks a lot. Okay, we'll go from the back this time. Return from the Wilds, Besotted Knight, Water Wings, Frostbridge Guard, Charay of Numbing Depths, Eret's Tempting Apple. Boy, that just looks, doesn't even look edible. It just looks like some crazy expensive, like diamond or crystal apple that belongs in a museum. Toten Tants, Swarm Piper, I mean, Come on, I guess they couldn't call him the Pied Piper, but it's the same guy with all his freaking rats. There are giant rats everywhere! Look at him, his rats are just following him down there. Look at all those rats, rat freaking parade. Full art, swamp, okay. Got two art cards. Griffin Airy. At the beginning of your instep, if you gain three or more life this turn, make a 2 2 white griffin token with flying. Utopia Sprawl. Enchant a forest. Choose a color. When you tap that forest, its controller adds an additional color, an additional one mana of the chosen color. So, whatever color you pick. All right, here we go. Yeah! Sir Ginger, the Meal Ender. <laughs> This is another card people are excited for. Sir Ginger the Meal Ender has Trample, Hexproof, and Haste as long as an opponent controls a Planeswalker. Whenever another artifact you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on Sir Ginger and scry 1. You can pay 2 and tap Sir Ginger, and you gain life equal to his power. So if you pump this guy up, you can gain a whole bunch of life. I mean, you already gained 3 at his base power, because he's a 3-1. Cool card. Timber Paladin. Cool art. Heart Flame Duelist. Instant and Sorcery spells you control have lifelink. That's pretty neat. Smothering Tide. Shoo. Oh my god! That is very cool. It's got the anime art. Whenever an opponent draws a card, that player may pay. If that player doesn't, you create a treasure token in this anime art. Very, very cool. No foiling, but still, that's a valuable card. That anime art is where it's at. And the last card is Leyline of Sanctity. You have hexproof, not your stuff. You have hexproof. So that's interesting. Uh, I guess it keeps people from being able to target you personally with damage or whatever. That's pretty neat. So yeah, very cool art. Well guys, that was a cool box. A couple of good hits right there at the end. I'm very happy after, you know, making me wait to the end. God. Last pack magic. All right, cool. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know what stuff you want to see out of this set. Uh, what you're most excited about. If you want to, check out our Patreon. That helps us out. We are very small. Anything that comes in from our Patreon currently goes right back into the channel. We're doing giveaways and prizes. We want to be able to keep this thing going and giving. You guys are the reason we do it. We love doing it, so check that out. We also have a merch store. We've got t-shirt. It is southernsorcery.bigcartel.com and we've got a, a shirt there that design is magic influenced. Check it out. Maybe you'll love it. Either way, hope you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.